Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. So this is going to be the weekly energy reading where I will basically be telling you what to expect in this upcoming week, some of the things that you should avoid and also some of the things that you should aim for. So this will be for all signs and I'll be doing these zodiac readings this upcoming week. I might have to do the elements again because I'm so behind with my personal readings um, that the 12 zodiac signs is just, I don't know, it's just looking more and more like that's going to be impossible to do this month. So I might do the elements instead and I'll also be doing the Twin Flame Soulmate reading after this one. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first three cards that came out are the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, the King of Cups, and the Hangman. So this King of Cups energy is very bold in this reading. Um, like as soon as I pulled the card out, I could feel the energy very strongly. So I'm thinking that some of you are going to need to embody this King of Cups energy this week, meaning that you're going to have to show a certain level of self-control because the king of cups is the energy of someone who knows how to control their emotions because they have mastered their emotions it doesn't mean that you're emotionally closed off it doesn't mean that you suppress your emotions but it means that you know how to react in a way that is i guess you could say appropriate so when you've gone through a certain amount of I guess you could say painful experiences or emotionally charged experiences, you eventually get to a point where you have balanced out your emotions so you know how to react to these things and you know that you can't overreact but then you know that you can't underreact and suppress it either. So it just looks like some of you are going to need to maintain emotional balance this week and that's not anything to fear. Um, I don't want any of you thinking that I'm saying something bad is going to happen and you're going to have to maintain, you know, your uh, your footing. I'm thinking that some of you are already in this energy of just things possibly not going the way that you expected or things in your external environment just may be a little bit shaky. So it may call for you, like I said, to be very strong and stern uh, when it comes to your emotions. Um, if you hear shuffling, I'm, I'm using my other deck to clarify. But uh, for some of you, I'm hearing that you may have been dealing, you may be dealing with someone who is trying to get you to open up or who you may feel tempted to open up to. But I'm thinking that you may want to second guess that because I'm just getting this very Scorpio energy with that King of Cups. So I'm thinking that you're needing to just set emotional boundaries and not show too much emotion to what's going on in your environment. Let me clarify. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of confusing. I'm not going to put... I'll put this on the side. Um, it's kind of confusing, but I feel like once some of you hear this, it'll make sense to you because it's looking like you're needing to close your emotions off in order to find emotional happiness or emotional fulfillment, which usually that makes no sense. But in certain situations, it makes a lot of sense because sometimes when we are too emotionally open and our energy is too open, we can absorb too much and then we can kind of like overreact or we become hypersensitive and it can kind of cause us to lose control and sometimes that can be a blockage to getting what it is that we want emotionally so it's looking like learning how to set emotional boundaries and to kind of hold yourself back a bit emotionally is going to be very beneficial to you I really hope that makes sense uh, to whoever needs to hear it also with the hangman coming up Basically, what this is saying is that you're going to be moving out of an energy that you have been in for a very long time. And I really think that this energy that you've been in has been like this very hypersensitive energy, like a very triggered emotional state that you have been in. And now you're learning how to control your emotions or learning how to find peace within no matter what's going on externally. And because of that, you're moving towards something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you with the Ten of Cups. And with the hangman being in the reverse, it means that you're moving forward out of a period of stagnation. So for, for those of you who've been feeling very stuck, it looks like this week you're going to start to see some movement. Especially with the Nine of Swords coming up underneath it, that talks about basically moving out of a headspace of being anxious and paranoid. So if a lot of you, or so if some of you have been in this energy of like, 
just having really bad dreams about a certain situation or just feeling very anxious, like your nervous system is really revved up because of some sort of pain that you endured. It's like you're moving out of that energy now. And I think that whatever it is that you experienced, it was meant to teach you how to uh, master your emotions is what I'm seeing. With the Six of Cups being in the reverse, um, that can be a little bit troubling because to me, I'm reading that card as like past memories that are not good. It's like negative past memories that could be kind of popping up. And that could be why the King of Cups is coming up over top of that, meaning that even when these past memories or these triggers surface, you're going to need to maintain emotional balance. And again, that doesn't mean to suppress your feelings or to ignore them, but it's like learning how to tend to your feelings in a healthy way without letting them uh, kind of take over your mind and control your actions. See what I'm saying? Because King of Cups is a masculine energy. Masculine energy is about action. So sometimes when we are overwhelmed by emotion, it can cause us to make rash decisions that we later regret. So I'm thinking that a lot of you are needing to take that into consideration and make sure that you are uh, making any decisions in a, in a way that's very balanced. Like don't make any decisions that um, is basically all emotion like that's driven solely by emotion give yourself kind of time to slow it down or it's like to take a deep breath and calm your nervous system and then make the decision so with the ace of swords being here underneath the ten of pentacles i'm thinking that some of you are getting clarity about some sort of family situation i'm picking up family very heavily from that ten of pentacles and that could be what this whole energy or this stagnation could be about something involving family or something involving an investment or some type of long-term commitment that you may have gained some type of clarity over but i feel like even though you've gained clarity over it you're still coming up as the page of swords so you may you may not still have all of the information so you need to be careful with that as well and that very well could be why that king of cups is so strong because some of you could be in this page of swords energy where you're trying to figure something out about a family member about a family situation or about a long-term commitment or about your future um i'm picking up a lot of different energy a lot of different scenarios here but just try your best this week not to jump to any conclusions because the page of swords it's easy to jump to conclusions when you're in this this space especially with the ace of swords being here it's like kind of learning some sort of information and then taking that information and running with it and jumping to conclusions so be very careful with that be very careful about allowing your thoughts to spiral into something that it doesn't have to go to it's like there are certain situations that yes they may be bad or you may learn something that is upsetting but then our minds can kind of take that information and really turn it into something way bigger than what it needs to be turned into see what i'm saying so even though you could be learning something or figuring something out you have to make sure that you maintain that balance and control mentally and emotionally and not let your mind jump too far forward into the future to the point where it's like you've already decided that the worst thing that could possibly happen is happening and going to happen and then that kind of like triggers you and causes you to spiral i really hope that this reading is making sense um underneath the page of swords we have the queen of cups like i said it's like the emotions um not needing to let a situation control you emotionally it's like really being very disciplined and self-controlled without suppressing which is not an easy task let me pull one more and then the two of swords is here in the reverse you see the two of swords making decisions based off of what you think that you know instead of knowing the full story some of you could have really been in a situation where you had to constantly guess or second guess what was going to happen next because you could have been in the dark about a situation and that's what could have kept you stuck and so now it's like you're in this headspace where you're constantly trying to figure out what's going to happen next so then you can easily jump to conclusions and then when you jump to worst case scenarios it's like you get in your feelings and then you make a decision based off of that feeling and at that point you're making a decision based off of something that could happen that didn't happen and then you can cause yourself to self-sabotage certain situations this reading i feel like it's all over the place i hope that's making sense guys let me know down below if it's resonating i just think that overall the main message here is to be very mindful of your emotions this week be very mindful of your thoughts and your actions make sure that when you're taking action it's not from a place of pure emotion you have the eight of wands so this is a lot of like raw energy 
the eight of wands. So a lot of raw energy, a lot of like fast movement that you're going to need to be careful of. I definitely feel Aries energy from this. Even if you're not an Aries, I feel like you're going to be embodying the energy of an Aries or just a fire sign in general where things can get kind of heated and then you could just be triggered to take action or to uh, just make a split decision without really thinking about it. So just be very mindful of that. Be very mindful of your communication this week, the way that you're speaking to other people. And if other people are speaking to you in a way that's kind of hostile or like in a way that just they're clearly being overly aggressive, you're being asked to control your emotions, even when people are coming at you that way. So this should be an interesting week. I'm feeling a lot of fire. Let me pull one more. The King of Cups, see? You got the King of Cups twice. Yeah, control your emotions this week. It's going to be very important. Because the card came out twice. One in the reverse and then one in the upright. So just be very careful. I'm thinking that they both came out from different decks but like one is a reversal because you pretty much have the option of which energy you want to embody this week you can embody the energy of the king of cups in reverse where um it's like you're you're much more you're much less disciplined when it comes to your emotions or on the flip side you could be like suppressing your emotions very heavily which is something you don't want to do either so you don't want to go to either extreme of being too emotionally expressive, but then you don't want to go to the other extreme of knowing that something's wrong and feeling some type of pain, but then completely burying it. Like you don't want to do either of those. You want to be in the high vibration of the King of Cups energy where you acknowledge that something is bothering you. You acknowledge that you do have a certain feeling about a certain situation and you deal with it. You go inward and you soothe yourself and you deal with it. You don't run from it, but then you also don't project it outwards. You go inward internally and you soothe yourself and you deal with it and you release it in a healthy way so I think that that is it I hope that this reading <laughs> made sense to you guys I felt like it was kind of all over the place and I'm going to be uploading the uh, twin flame soulmate reading after this one so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye